Okay, I just started the video and my mom just screamed take two. Because we literally had to like film two separate videos. Was it take two or take three? Take three. It was take three. I just realized, yeah. Take three. We don't need to do that. What is that? It's pretty, isn't it? It is. It is really, really nice. You so, have to go. I have to book an appointment for your booster shot. Yeah, we. I never even got my booster shot yet. Yeah, because you got COVID, and then you have to wait three months. So your three months are up now in May. You know, me and my, me and Yaya are like exactly the same. Yeah, Yaya is going actually. Um, no, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant like we both like fusing foods because she fused her sandwich with the barbecue chips. Oh God. We're the same. She gets it. She gets it from me. <laughs> You get it from her. <laughs> How the fuck did I get it from her? I'm the one that usually did it in this family. Uncle John usually did it. That's right. Especially when he came over once. That's right. Then he put chips in the, um, in his the bun. What was it? The bun? Like he put in bread bun? and he like ate it. Bread. Like a sandwich. That's how we used to eat it in Greece. We used to crunch up our chips in the bag. And then we cut open the piece of bread and put the, piece of, like, the crunched up chips there and ate it. But why would you do that? Because it tastes so good. <laughs> It tastes good. And listen, when you're living on a farm or in the city, you know, we, we didn't have, like, chocolate and, you know, candy and stuff like that. That stuff was like a treat. You know, we'd get it for, like, Christmas or something. So, do, you know. Do you want to explain to the people any, any, I want, actually, you know what, I, I actually want you, this could be, like, a separate video. I want you to explain to the people uh, the story of the time your grandmother cut a chicken in front of you. No, she didn't cut a chicken in front of me. She was, I was little and um, she asked, would ask I me I don't think the go. key people can hear you. You might have to speak up. She asked me to go um, outside with her to help her feed the chickens. And I was so excited because, you know, I mean, I was little, right? So I was like, what, six maybe? Six, seven, seven? I don't remember. I was given, uh, I was excited because I was given a job to do, and um, she, would, she brought the big bucket with the, the chicken feed, um, and um, she did this like weird uh, chicken call, I don't know what it was, and all the chickens would like come running, and I would like throw the food at them, and they would like you know eat it and i was so happy because like i was feeding the chickens and then she would bend over and she grabbed the chicken and she twists its neck and then she looks at me and she's like lunch and i looked at her i'm like oh fuck okay <laughs> so, so then the next day the next morning when she said to me do you want to go come and feed the chickens i was like ah no 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 <laughs> This is that, believe it or not, guys, this is a true story, apparently. It is, it is. I, I never went out to feed the chickens again. I would actually, when my grandmother would go out to feed the chickens, I would yell at the chickens to run away. You, why? Did you get scared of chickens? No, I was telling the chickens to run away because she was going to kill them. And it was going to be lunch. <laughs> so wait, let me get this straight. Your grandmother, what was her name? Uh, Dina. So her Grandma name? Dina... I guess I'm gonna call her that. I don't know who she is to me. So Grandma Dina uh, literally just snapped the chicken's neck in front of you. Yes. <laughs> you were just a kid? Yes. Like how old? A toddler or something? I must have been, I don't know, maybe I was like six or seven, I would say. Six or seven. Jesus Christ, and she did that in front of you? No. <laughs> God. Can you imagine if my, can you imagine if Yaya did that to us? That's nothing. We each had, um. Ooh, shit. That's a girl, by the way. That's a girl? Yeah. Oh, well, now she's on YouTube. Smile um, to the camera. Okay. We each had a lamb. Um, so my lamb was actually called Mary. Uh, well, it was called in Greek Marimula. So it translates that to Mary. So we each had a lamb. And then um, the, um, the night before, we were going to leave the farm to go back to the city. Because we would go to the farm, like, during... Um, <laughs> Um, summer break like from school and we'd spend like the whole summer at the farm but then we had to obviously go back and we're gonna start school again hey who knows maybe maybe we can also tell people stories about that about the time you actually lived in the farm yeah. 
was, and the um, time where you worked in a muffin factory. I was, um, I was looking for my cousin and I were looking for my lamb. We had found Uncle John's lamb. We said bye to that, and we found my cousin's lamb, and we said bye to that. And we were looking for my lamb. My lamb was the smallest one out of all of the lambs. And I'm looking. For we're all looking for my lamb, and I can't find my lamb anymore. I want to say bye to my lamb, and I'm so upset. And then um, we, they called us in for supper, and we're sitting down, and uh, they put the food in front of us. And I asked my uncle, I said, um, you know, I'm very sad because I can't find my lamb. I think, you know, she ran away, and I wanted to say goodbye to her because, you know, I'm leaving. And my uncle, God love him, I love him love him to death, still love him to this day, he says to me, oh, your lamb is there on the plate. What? That's right. He just... My lamb was so... Sub- oh my God, I cried. My cousin and I cried so much. I refused to eat my supper. I didn't, we didn't eat... My cousin and I refused to eat supper. And my uncle called us stupid and ate my piece of lamb. Oh my God. Yeah, my lamb was... Oh, look. What? I don't think you guys can see it, but there's like a rainbow, like a rainbow ride in Lamarone right now. My, uh, my lamb was somewhere. So wait, I never knew about that. So yeah. they just killed your lamb yeah. and served it to you. Yeah. And your uncle just ate it right in front of your face. Yeah. We didn't have, we didn't have, um, we didn't have a stove. Like we did all our cooking outside.